guys, it's Kirsten Sophia. Nice to see ya. And today I'm getting my hair due or did or whatever. So I'm really in a rush right now. I have to leave in like 10 minutes. So what I was trying to do is I wanted to blow dry my hair. This is the last time y'all gonna see me with like this brown blonde. It's not really blonde, it's like a caramel type thing. So what I want to do is blow dry my hair. I always wash my hair and blow dry it so it's like at least a little more straight and easier to manage. But yeah, y'all, I'm actually really excited. I've been wanting this do for a long time. Okay, let me just say I'm going to color my hair. And it's a color I've never had before. I'm also thinking of chopping my hair because there was a time where um there was a time where I had my hair like cut short, probably like this length. And I had like this afro. So it was like like that type of white but i don't know if i'm gonna rock it because back then i was very i was slimmer than i am now so i don't know how i'm gonna look with an afro like because my face is already chubby and with an afro is just going to enhance the chubbiness so i'll just have to talk to my aunt but we're gonna go downtown first to go to where she works because at the moment there's a lockdown so the hairdressers are closed but we can still go in and get the color that i want and then she's gonna do it for me at her place i'm really excited so y'all let's get into the video so these are the pictures i think i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go with this this one And your girl is done, so I'm gonna show y'all in three, two, one. Ta da! La 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 la! <laughs> That's my father, my grandpa. What y'all think? I love it. G, what is that? Anyway, yes, y'all ignore that. Yo, for you, I have said grandpa. Hvem var det? Hvad mener du, hvem var det? Hvem du Det her på YouTube. Sige hej YouTube. Sige hej YouTube. Hej. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Woo. Look at this Danish weather. It's really nice but it could go away the sun is out so don't know what else i'm gonna do today this is basically it i'm in love with the results why is only marks on my face anyways hey guys it's kirsten sophia nice to see ya and i don't know what channel i'm gonna post this on the kirsten sophia or the kirsten of makio because child uh, next one nation will come later um nothing serious so don't freak out but you girls getting ready don't mind the noise in the background, that's the dishwasher going on. But um, your girl getting ready because I became a blood donor. Y'all probably like, why this girl always wearing this little bun? But y'all, it's very practical. In the mornings, I just don't have time. Or straight up, I'm just like lazy. I just try to be quick in the morning because like, yeah, I'm lazy and I'm tired. So this is the hairstyle. Cause y'all know, if y'all haven't followed me on Instagram yet, I am, um, I got bangs and that's why it's so little my bun now but um yeah plus it's hot it's hot when i'm getting ready but yeah but if i was going in the if i was going to the airport child i'll be looking my best i don't even know why people are like me i don't know why we get all dressed up to go in the airport because like do you do that in a supermarket but um when i say dressed up like i just want to look my best when i go into the airport but um honestly it's just some sweatpants and some nice kicks that's what that's my go-to when i go into the airport and if y'all notice like my hair isn't that red because it was actually a toner i said dye but it, it was just a toner y'all um but anyways back to the purpose of this video yeah i became a blood donor because i just want to do a good deed so i'm just putting on some little makeup to enhance the beauty <laughs> 
but um yeah i just want to do a good deed and if i could give blood then then so be it even though i'm really scared of needles but i just called them so today isn't going to be the day where they actually do um like where they actually take my blood they're just doing um a blood test to see what my blood type is and test for like antibodies and stuff like that so it's i'm not that scared because i done blood tests before even though i don't like it it's no big deal to me but it's when they actually have to go and take a whole bag of blood then i'm gonna get very squeamish and i've never done it before but i would just like but i would really like suggest like you know help out any way you can you don't have to go and get a you don't have to go and give blood you can literally just you know what you don't have to give blood you can just google and find another way to help people out if you don't like needles or anything with blood there's multiple ways you can help people out so do that you never know there may be a day where you need help so you know all about karma okay i ain't trying to guilt trip people like do you but i was just saying like you could go out and help people any way you can doesn't have to be anything medical and i'm always late like i have 14 minutes and i'm here like just chilling for some reason like as soon as i get to the makeup part it's like i slow down for some reason and i don't know why but then when i'm going because i have to take two trains y'all so i don't know if i can film inside and i don't know how long i'll be waiting which is why i went like that okay i Jeez, it looks like I'm in an attic. Well, I had to close it because like the light was keep tripping. But anyways, I don't know if I could film inside and I don't know how long I'm gonna be waiting because sometimes, sometimes they have you waiting for like hours. And anyways, I brought my computer just in case I have, I could do some work. The girl got an exam coming up. So, and then when I, later on, I'm gonna go by my grandparents because they're out so I can have the house to myself um and do some filming there and do some work i also have to study i have an exam coming up i probably just said that your girl needs some more sleep and <laughs> that's what um do you anyone do my eyebrows y'all anyways let me her do this and then i'm gonna see y'all in the next like scene bye all right your girl is done head out the door and actually i'm not that late so i'm walking with like all these bags um because i'm going by my grandparents and i think i'm going to stay there overnight because i like to use my weekends to spend some quality time with them but they're out um they're out during the day so i have the whole house to myself then i can spend the afternoon or the night with them so now i'm going to the train Girl, oh my gosh Y'all get that like when it's like really cold. My eyes always be watering. People out here thinking I'm crying. But this bag's so heavy, y'all. Like I don't even know what I was thinking. I should have left it and then come back for it. But um, yeah, we on the train by myself. There's nobody here. It's so cold, y'all. There was snowing this morning. Like a little bit. It didn't stay though. I don't know if y'all can hear my music. Let me stop because I don't want no copyright action. But it was snowing. It is March, almost April. And it's freaking snowing. That's insane. Oh, this train needs to hurry up. It's coming out. I don't know if y'all can see like some light coming down there. Okay, some heat and then I gotta transfer to another train with this is technically a street car but let me put my mask on before people get mad so so I'm off the train or street car whatever and I'm pretty much lost y'all have to understand because i don't know y'all could see me but um yeah but the hospital here in denmark is a whole city and i'm being serious like there's apartments there's apartments um for like guests 
and like patience obviously but um it's a whole city so it's kind of hard for me to find i got about 20 minutes to hurry to find this place so this is what it looks like all those buildings like every every building is a part of the hospital but once i get like deeper in it i will show y'all more like it's a whole maze it's very difficult to find spots they even have buses like shuttles like in an airport and it basically is because like they have helicopter drops and stuff like that yeah i like, couldn't film whilst i was in there because like it was literally like a small waiting room and i didn't want people like <laughs> listening to me and all my business but um apparently i cannot i don't know if i should wait to, i can do it right here apparently Apparently I can't be a blood donor because I'm from the Bahamas and I visit very often because I need to see my family and friends and the Bahamas is in the Caribbean Which is a high risk of malaria Um, so they was like you would have to wait What was it three years before you can donate blood and it's like I traveled all the way out here just to be told that I cannot donate blood because I visit the Bahamas a bunch of people go to Thailand but I don't know if they wait, um, I don't know if they be waiting three years or whatever. But they said I could donate plasma, but I would have to wait six months. So I'm like, they said, do you want to you have some time to think about it? And I'm like, yeah, I can need some time to think about it. But like, they should really have this questionnaire, like before you come here. There's a lot of traffic right now. So please ignore that. I could also wait. Oh my gosh, I don't know if y'all can see the helicopter landing. Actually, I've never seen a helicopter landing. We heard... It's right there. Y'all got to see it's landing. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, so that kind of sucks because I really wanted to donate blood. I really wanted to do a good deed, but I guess I'll have to figure something else out. I know here in Denmark you could be something called Yada Luriba. It's like heart runner. So you can, like if someone really needed like some CPR or like heart massage or whatever it's called, you can get this app and this is a bunch of trains coming so back to what i was saying you could be like this heart runner and i hope y'all could hear me oh my gosh it's like this blue thing but anyways um and you could have this app or whatever and it will tell you for example it will like call you or send you a text and it will be alert and it will be like you have to run 200 meters i don't know how what that is in feet um someone like needs heart massage or cpr or something you have to hurry and get the the um the kit like the electric thing Man, i need to study some more about that <laughs> would you get a kit obviously you go to some training before you do that you can't go and mess up somebody but um i could do that there you don't need no blood or whatever but you'll be helping somebody giving cpr or um the doctors or ambulance on the phone will tell you what to do how to save somebody's life um i would do that so kind of sucks um i really wanted to do this you know because my blood i already know my blood type it's o negative and i know a lot everybody can use my blood but i can't use everybody's blood i can only use o negative so but there's the majority of people in the world um have o negative so now i'm headed back to my grandparents and i don't know what else to do I'm probably gonna go study for my exam otherwise i don't know so i'm finally by my grandparents house as y'all can tell that whole process was so long but it really sucks because i was really looking forward to like donating blood even though like i'm very squeamish about blood and needles but i didn't know that because i always visit the bahamas that would be the cause of why i can't be a blood donor so that kind of sucks but the more i google it's only on one of our islands called exuma where there's like high risk of malaria i remember when i was younger me and my bestie Brittany, we had to travel to Exum we had to get a vaccine shot for malaria before we went there. So I don't understand why I can't donate blood. But I mean, they know more than I do, but it's just frustrating because I was really looking forward to be like, yeah, I donate blood. I'm helping, you know, people out there. So now, yeah. Now I don't have nothing to do but study. Your girl is hungry. It is almost, it is 12.45 and I've only had a protein shake, so... I'm eating, I'm gonna eat some buns, some homemade buns actually, my found one made. Um, and because when I was home, look at that. I was going on for the longest. But um, when I was home, I 
I don't have no butter. And this is best with some butter. So, I'm gonna cut these open. And I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna have a chill day. Just like a self care day. Mm mm mm. Now, I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I'm so bored. Like, I'm bored, but I need to study. So I procrastinate and I'm bored. Y'all see that cycle? <laughs> that makes no sense. Nothing else is gonna happen in this vlog because, like, I really thought I could use the whole day, like, showing y'all, like, the hospital and showing y'all the whole process of being a blood donor. But apparently, I can't even be a blo blood donor. I mean, I can. But because I told them, um, but because I told them the last time I was in the Bahamas, that was, when, that was in 2019. But they said, how often will you be visiting? And I'm like, probably at least once a year because like I have to visit my family and friends. So they were like, because the Bahamas is at high risk, you might as well not be a blood donor, but you could donate plasma. You would still have to wait, what, six months? And I'm like, I don't get it. Like, why does it have to be so difficult to help people, you know? So now that I'm by myself, I'm going to look for a, um, and the type of TV they have is like so difficult to like navigate around, but um, I wanna look for like a rom-com or something, like something romantic, because like when I'm by myself, I can do that without having no one to judge me. I mean, y'all probably can judge me here, but I know this movie called Leap Year. It's like one of those rom-coms. I watched it like probably like twice. Um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna use some of my day to watch this. Then I'm gonna eat my lunch. My lunch looks so sad, y'all. Like there were, there, I mean, some small fries, three nuggets, and some a bun. So that looks super sad. I don't know if I just zoomed in or something. But that looks sad, but I love it. I don't care. It tastes good, but um, yeah, that's pretty much for this vlog. This part was so boring. <laughs> but I'm t I'm telling y'all, it's only gonna get better from here because I'm soon gonna go to Copenhagen and visit some of my friends, and I'll be trying to do that like at least every other weekend. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, but I just need to get over my exam and my internship and all that stuff. So. Stay with me, keep watching, keep subscribing. I mean, y'all could only do it once, but like get your other peoples to do it. So today is the next day and I had a lot of time to think um, about this vlog. There was actually some more. Cause I know it's supposed to give y'all an insight as to how you donate blood. So you go on blooddonor.dk and you apply to become a blood donor. And then in like one or two months, but I got it within like two weeks and they'll Yeah, film Yeah, film Um and they'll give you an answer saying that you become a blood donor and then you will have a time to meet up. So when you meet up, you're supposed to go on this computer. There's Famwa in her fancy dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you fill out a form on the computer, like answering about like um, diseases, infections, if you've been in contact with any of these people or in the countries with these high risk and etc. And like if I'm on, like doing a, the um, the chimney fireplace, whatever. Anyways, so then after that, you take a number and then you go in for an interview where they talk about like if you've ever had infections or country you from in my in my case i put because it says where you're born and raised and i put the bahamas um and then they were like it's high risk but the more i think about it there's over 700 um islands and there's only like one island called exuma that has high risk of malaria so technically i can be a blood donor so i don't understand how they just generalize a whole archipelago and just be like, you know what, that whole thing is uh, high risk. But um, 
but there's another thing you can be it's called uh i think i already explained the heart runner where you have to go and give cpr so i think i'll do that because that has nothing to do with blood or whatever i mean unless like it's an accident and there's like a lot of blood so i don't know i'm very squeamish so we'll see but that's basically it all i wanted to talk about today as you can see i overnight y'all always see me in this sweatshirt i overnight by my grandparents i'm about to do some work i'm gonna go for a walk we also had domino's pizza um yesterday and it's not as good as the bahamas or america not to like down on the danish people that has nothing to do with them but on um, yeah but that's enough of me rambling so see y'all in the next video bye